guys. I um, get to work on this pretty Joe Malone bottle tonight. <clears throat> it's one of my favorites. I do a lot, I do a lot of Joe Malone, and the bottle is a lot of clear space to engrave on. Um, so I also do like a lot of florals on these ones that look nice. But for this one, I'm just doing a simple name for a bridesmaid. So I have used my aquarellable from the Stabilo, Stabilo, however you say that, I am not certain, but it is a wax pencil, so it's meant to go on glass and then it cleans off nicely. And you can see here that I have just drawn a baseline to kind of keep me straight and sketched in my name, which is Kylie. So now that I have it sketched, I am going to put in my burr into my engraving machine. So I am using these diamond burrs, which I have gotten from Ink Me This. And I've taken out this one here, so you can see how small it kind of is. And then I have my engraving tool here, also from Ink Me This, the Mestiza. And I am just going to put it here. So if you've never used this before, it actually has a collet reducer in it for this side. Depending on what burrs you use, you may be able to put it directly in the shaft, or if you, I think it's 3 30 seconds, but um, if you order the ones from Eat Me This, you're going to need to use the collet reducer. So I've got that in, and then I'm inserting my burr, and I'm gonna lock it in place that way, okay? And then my machine is here. You see that? There's my screen. Here's my dial to turn it on. So I'm just going to turn it on. For glass, you're gonna want the highest setting, 35,000 RPM. Now if I just click this in, that's going to pause it so I can grab a few supplies here get things rearranged. And then I'm gonna be using this burr lube. I'll put the link down below in the description. description but uh, essentially it just helps it glide smoother on the glass and prolongs the life of your burr. So I'm just getting a little on the tip there. That was a little excess while I was talking, but you get the idea. And then maybe in between bottles or if it's a really big design, I'll dip it again. Um, during the process, but usually just once per bottle. Um, anyways, okay, I've got it drafted. My engraver is on and running, and I've got a firm grip here, and I'm ready to go. So I should actually pause here. Since you can't see my face, you should know that I have some handy-dandy, super stylish... <laughs> safety goggles, safety glasses that I wear when I am engraving. And then also just a mask prior to 2020. Um, engravers were already using these, um, but after 2020, I'm sure that all of you have a mask handy around somewhere so that you're not inhaling the dust. Um, okay, so I've got my safety gear, I'm drafted, my engraver's on, I'm going to unpause it. It is spinning and I am ready to go. So I'm gonna do the K here first. Okay, can you kind of see that? And I'm just gonna brush the dust away so I make sure I put the dot of my eye in the proper place. So that's my first pass engraving. And I like the look of that. Now I'm gonna go back through for my second pass and kind of smooth the lines out and thicken my downstroke.
see it's totally okay to manipulate your bottle. I'm always turning it around to get the most comfortable angle. just a little bit like this is uh, just a tad off balance. I'm gonna see about maybe adding a flourish. Kinda like that, I like that. To help balance, let's see. Just to balance it out a little bit because this K was so big and it's a short name. Anyways, that's just a little my thought process. Um, gonna add that flourish in. Okay. Okay, I like the looks of that. And I kind of finished the K with this little box tip here. So I'm gonna do the same here. Just for some uniformity. And then I think I'll do it just a little bit right there. Okay, now you can leave your engraving like this to just get a really subtle, minimal look, which is always beautiful and pretty. But I do love to add color fill, so I'm gonna use silver for this bottle just to match the cap here. Um, I also use a lot of gold in my projects. Both are really pretty and stunning and make the lettering really pop. So. Gonna put a little tiny dab. Now you could use a Q-tip, you could use, I mean, a little cotton pad, whatever you have. I like to use microfibers. You can see this has been well used. And I just like to put my finger in it kind of tight and literally rub and buff it in, as the name suggests, and give it some elbow grease. You have to work pretty fast because this does dry. I just kind of want to show you how it's smearing across there. Um, rub it in really good and I'm going to grab just a clean microfiber to finish the rest off. Now if you're having problems getting it off, some tips I've learned is to just use a little bit more 
of your rub and buff to kind of wet it again. Go over the whole thing again and then work a little faster. Um, or just a little damp rag, adding just a tiny bit of something to dampen it um, will help that excess come off. And I am the messiest when it comes to this stuff. So, Okay, and there you have your finished piece of Forever Keepsake. Doesn't that just look so pretty? So when they open their bottle of perfume, if it's a gift, they will be surprised to find their name engraved forever on the back to remember a special day or event or whatever it might be. Thanks for watching, guys.